Greetings, one and all. It is I, Greyfall, back once again for the next book in the Moss series. And as the controller is telling us, we grab the book and we open the pages. And now... We remember you, dear reader, even if you do not remember us. You see, this is no ordinary book. Within these pages lives a hero, one who could determine all our fates. And before I turn this page, there is the first book, as you can see right there. Ooh, can I? No, I can't mess with the candles. Can I mess with the bottle? No. Ah, that's a shame. Right. She needs a reader who knows just how important they truly are. Shall we begin? Yes. Every war in Moss begins and ends with the Five Glass. And on the Cinder Knight, the Arcane tried to take them all. Sir Argus, commander of the Kingsguard, sacrificed everything that night to ensure the King's Glass was safe. The Sprites, too, had their own glass to protect, and their great champion did so until his final breath. The story of his glass would resume much later when young Quill of the Clearing, out on one of her humble adventures, found what the Sprite Champion concealed in death. When she showed her uncle Argus the green glass, everything changed. He understood well the gravity of her find and rushed off to seek counsel with the Sprites. But Argus was captured by the Arcane, and so the starving Aduran came to Quill with a promise to lead her to her uncle. Quill knew of starthings only from campfire tales of magic and mischief. Yet still, she decided to follow. Quill knew her uncle needed her, but not just her. You see, Quill was bonded by the glass to a reader, That's a soul whose gifts proved the perfect complement to the young hero. Together, they were twofold. They embarked on a perilous journey. The Arcane's pursuit was relentless, and Quill barely survived. A Durin, who had become a friend of sorts, was not as fortunate, ending up in the jaws of Sarfog. Sarfog was the Arcane's most ruthless general, and at the very gates of the castle seized on that cinder night, the twofold heroes slayed the monstrous serpent and rescued Argus from captivity. Admittedly, she's doing a much better job of saying, <coughs> go recapping what happened in the previous episodes than I'd be doing right now. But the Arcane do not end with Sarfog. The one who leads them will not relent until the Five Glass are in their clutches. And that will unravel this world. Our fate rests with Quill. She needs a true partner by her side. And we hope that is you, dear reader. So let us begin at the castle, where Quill and her uncle must brave the Arcane to retrieve the King's Glass, still hidden away after all these years. Or so they hope. That sounds ominous. Apologies, folks. <coughs> hmm. Uh, bright light, bright light. <coughs> and we return to Sarfog. <gasps> Starving. Starving's alive. Adurian, you live. Oh. 
ghost face? You're still here. You're still here. Then you should have this. You can thank me later. Or maybe before. Who knows? Well, I can't pick it up. Quill Bill. searched the castle entrance for her uncle's sword. He'd insisted they'd never reach the King's Glass without it. Quill was shocked to find it hiding in plain sight. She must have missed it last time around. After all, she'd been a bit preoccupied. A little, yeah. And feel remorse for the creature. I'm gonna swallow you in one bite. We can accomplish anything, said Quill, looking up to her reader. I couldn't have defeated this monster without you. Thank you for being here with me. You're welcome, Quill. She'd left Uncle Argus alone for too long. He could be in grave danger. Oh, brilliant. We're straight into the danger. We'd only just freed him from that cage. <clears throat> they had to hurry. Her poor uncle was too injured to defend himself should the arcane find him again. Okay, so I can't do... Charged accident. One thing I'm, I'm a little upset by is the fact that I went through all those trials, got all that badass armor, and unfortunately, book two puts you straight back where you began. I at least thought he would have taken a, a link from the first book and gone, "Yeah, you have these things," but I guess not. Huh. Don't mind me, we're just gonna move this. Ah, yes, okay, we're going through tutorial because obviously everything else beyond that was a cutscene. Right, where to next? Drag you out of the way, can. No, I can't move you. I mean, you look like you move. Uh... Important question Can I move with you on it? I can! <laughs> Surfing! <laughs> Bet you're having fun there, aren't you? Oh, there we go. And I did spy you. A little scroll. Because, uh, unfortunately, as I was not able to... Oh, no, to climb over that. Interesting. But yes, as I unfortunately I was unable to uh, look at properly before we started speaking, uh, there was a uh, a new tapestry or page that needed filling in. Okay, we'll move you over there. There we go. Let's go. Although again, how did you get here? <clears throat> I'm going to presume we're taking a different path this time. Uncle Argus! Quill was relieved to find him safe. You found my sword. You wouldn't believe where it was. 
You know, I never realized just how huge Sarpod was. Shh, lower your voice, Quill. We're not safe. He could be anywhere. The king's glass hides beneath the throne. We must move quickly and quietly. Yes, it's much lighter than your sword, Grandad. Your reader. Uncle. Are they still here? Yes, Uncle. They're right by my side. We're twofold. Yes. We aren't Ooh, afraid of the that. arcane. That mirror needs to clean. I see. He said with a hint of pride. <clears throat> now, Tinge keep your ears open and your sword ready. We must get to the throne. Any? Oh, oh, okay. Moved a lot further forward than I was expecting. Before we go anywhere, do we have another scroll piece anywhere? No. Okay. Cool. Well, that was ominous. <laughs> Fortunately, I think your uncle is exceptionally stubborn and is low likely, unfortunately, to get himself killed. No sign of the arcane here. That's what worries me. Uncle, look out! I can't see you, but I know you're up there, reader. Please, she's in your hands now. There we go. Quill. You're far too important to risk yourself for me. The greater good must always come before matters of the heart. Quill didn't understand. He was our family. He'd always come first. But she knew better than to argue. Lower the gate, there it is. And Go on ahead. I'll stay a few steps behind. You focus on getting to the throne. Okay, but I'll also focus on breaking these things. what's behind us. Very beautiful but disheveled cathedral for obvious reasons. He knows he's not any good in a fight now. Foolish of him to think he could. There is a scroll piece up there. Okay, so as long as we finish this fight, because there's going to be a fight. It's a big arena. Yep, there we go. Another 
another one. Same symbol, so... I'll even treat how the image is going to look like at the end of this. Hmm. Hello. Would you mind being so kind as to stick your rear on here? Thank you. How kind. Yeah, there we go. Usual cunning tactics to hide things. There's nothing else. Nope. Carry on. Ah, that's annoying. That's in the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. We need to put you over there to, to lift things and just move this out of the way. Is that okay? <coughs> so that gate opens. Uh, how do we get you up here? That is a very good question. Because you can't climb... Whip. I see, I see. Adding a few interesting more mechanics. Obviously going with the first serving one. Yep. There we go. And... Climb over here. So let's get you pulled. So while that happens, put you in there. Pull you to your rightful resting spot. Good boy. was the legendary throne room. The same room where her uncle was once knighted by the king. Wow. This is a big room. Like, like a seriously big... Oh, good lord. Okay, so there's a scroll up there. There's a scroll in here. Are there are other scrolls I see. Oh, no, I can see another one there in the distance as well. Okay, we are gonna be busy. After you, my dear. All clear. She called back to her uncle. I've waited years for this moment. By all that's good in this world, I hope it's still locked. The fools never figured it out. He snickered. 
Uncle Argus then turned to Quill with a wink and a smirk, and plunged his blade into the throne. His sword was the key. Ah, that's why we needed it. But the triumph soon faded as they descended into the eerie quietude of the secret chamber. Please be safe, her uncle pleaded under his breath. With an air of unease Quill had never heard before. A voice barked back. I'd retreat if I were you. Dark, dark magic afoot here. One whip of my wand and a swarm of undead wasps will scour you alive. Her uncle laughed. <laughs> Barnard, don't tell me all this time alone has you communing with the dead. I... I don't have undead wasps. Total bluff! He chuckled. My dear August, I can't believe it's really you! I'm so sorry, fretted her uncle. I tried to get back to you so many times. I just couldn't kill that vicious snake. Their long-awaited embrace was cut short. August! Barnard panicked. I feel the reader's presence! The usurper followed you in! No, no. Barnard! This is Quill, my next of kin and a twofold champion. They slayed Sawfog. Holy whiskers on a weasel! <laughs> Barnard was stunned. I. Oh my. Then there's much to discuss. Mogwart tea, anyone? I would love some. <clears throat> also, I'm just noticing, I think that jar, that bottle. When we destroy those things, and there's the little glowy stuff, the little sprite dust, it fills this thing up. I hadn't noticed that before. I'm not sure if that was in the previous one, but if it was, obviously I'm clearly blind. Barnard spent hours recounting his years in hiding, protecting the King's Glass from the Arcane. And with Sarfog dead, that winged tyrant will tear this castle apart! He knows one glass is here. Now two? This is bad. Very bad. Not if Quill gets all five glass first, said her uncle with a grin. Madness, Argus! Barnard replied. Even a twofold cannot take on their army. Not with a ward and forging screechers and scorchers and. Arthur knows what. Oh, we'll give it a damn good try. Hogwash. Uncle Argus retorted. Quill can handle that bloated behemoth after she rallies the Sprite army. Don't you see? Once we join all the glass, there will be no arcane. Even Vader will see it our way. She must. We could unwrite them all, Barnard mused. But Argy, the truce states the glass must remain separate. Truce be damned. We need the remaining glass to restore peace. But first, Quill must rally the sprites. It's the only way. Quill's belief in her and the reader swelled Quill's pride. They had a sprite army to inspire and the five glass to unite. And it all started with claiming the king's glass. It does indeed. 
But I think that's where we'll keep it for now. So thank you, one and all, for joining me and Quill for the first part of Book 2 of Moss. Uh, when the next episode starts, we shall obviously claim the King's Glass <coughs> and see what happens. Simply bird, I suspect we're probably going to get some sort of new power, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, and please do share, like, subscribe, and all that funky jazz. And I, and Quill, will catch you in the next episode. Take care. Oh.